Hi, I'm Chikudu. Welcome to Stand Therefore. In this third episode, we're going to go back to our Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, where the Bible talked about putting on the whole armor of God that we might be able to stand. We stand against all the wiles of the enemy. As you know, Satan has got wiles, and those wiles talk about his strategies. Satan uses strategies to attack us, to fight us, to do one thing or the other against us. Paul said, I've been done all to stand, stand therefore. You know, we're looking at when you've done all that is necessary and yet your prayers are being delayed. And in that place, I think verse 13, Paul said, put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. That tells me something, that trying to stand against the wiles of the enemy without the armor of God, you mightn't be able to stand. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that there's a chance we'll be defeated by Satan or all that. No, it is clear in the scriptures that Christ has done it all. The work of Christ on the cross of Calvary, his death and resurrection is a perfect work. We don't need to fight again, we don't need to war. That is why if you're warring against the enemy, you keep fighting against the enemy, you don't understand your position in Christ. You don't know who you are in the Lord. Because the Bible has said we are more than conquerors in Romans chapter 8. We are not supposed to engage in any other warfare but rather, we should exercise our victory over Satan. We should put Satan in his place. Whenever Satan raises up his ugly head against us, we should put him in his place. So we are not going to be conquerors. We are more, more. We are more than conquerors. Like I said in the previous episode, that God is not looking for how to harm you, how to teach you one lesson or the other. No, he's not doing that. Rather, Christ has done it all for us. The point is that we need to learn how to receive those things that Christ has done for us. A lot of Christians don't know how to receive. He has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. He has blessed us with all blessings in high places. But the question is, how do you receive? So when Paul said you might be able to stand, he's not talking about whether Satan will defeat us or not. No, he's a defeated foe. But rather, the point is, we may be able to receive from God those things the enemy is trying to stop us from receiving. I don't know if you understand that. So that when he said you may be able to withstand all the words of the enemy, he's talking about put on this armor and you increase your chances to stand against the enemy, to stand against his words and strategies. Because what happens to us Christians is that we are still human. The human factor is so inherent in our composition. At times we stand in faith, things will happen, we lose faith, and the next day we are pumped up again when we go to church, we want to stand again. After a while, one thing or the other will happen, we lose faith. So that's what Paul's talking about. He said, when you stand in faith, make sure you keep standing. That's, it. that's why he said, after doing all to stand, having done all to stand, stand. He's talking about perseverance. So one of the keys, or one of the reasons why you are yet to receive from God is stand. That's the second stand. Stand, therefore. Persevere. Be dogged. Be resilient. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.